This is probably the staple of any sparkling mineral water, carbonated mineral water, Perrier. This is a French story since 1863, water captured at the source in France. These are getting a little harder to find, the Perrier glass bottles, but they still can be found. Um, I got these from Costco, certain warehouses carry them and also Costco business. A little on the pricey side, but you know that you're gonna be getting an excellent product every time you see the green bottle. The bottles are actually green. Um, you should try to avoid getting your mineral water in the sun. I, I guess having a green bottle helps that. For them, it's sort of just the branding. Um, there's a lot of information about Perrier. Perrier, not Perrier. I guess Perrier, or however you would say it in French. Um, I've been drinking this stuff for a long time, many, many years, and it's it's a, always a solid go-to. It has medium to high carbonation, and it's usually going to be a winner. Um, some people I would say this water is too spicy for. Now remember, the acids and the, the carbonation actually reacts with your tongue, and it's almost like if you've ever had wasabi or horseradish or mustard, you have that spicy tongue reaction, and that's what carbonated water essentially does to the tongue, which goes back to my theory of why people may think that carbonated water is not as refreshing to them as drinking other filtered water or flat water. So there's some very interesting stuff if you read these water reports. I strongly recommend that you read the reports whenever you can about your local tap water. Um, but there's a lot of chemicals, uh, compounds that are listed in these water reports. For example, um, there's radiologicals, uranium. Uh, the FDA's limit is 0 0.03 your tap water could have 0 0.03 of uranium. Uh, Perrier has two decimals removed, 0 0.0018. Uh, the reporting, they're under the reporting limit, but they still disclose it, at least that's in the testing. Um, radium, the FDA limit is five. Perrier's is 1.2. There's a lot of interesting stuff uh, that, that can wind up in water. Um, lead is particularly important and Perrier is under the, uh, they're, they're below the, the testable scale, at least in this testing. So let's talk about fluoride again for a second here. The FDA's limit is two, two milligrams a liter. Perrier has, uh, 0.12. So the FDA limit is 2.0. So this is like 5% of the FDA's limit, uh, for what they recommend in water. <clears throat> Your tap water, I, I suggest you read it. It's gonna be, it's gonna probably be around two. Now, um, I've looked at some pH testing. Perrier themselves say that their pH is 5.9, which remember, uh, that's a little bit acidic on the pH scale if seven is absolute neutral. Tap water, I think, is a six. Uh, normally, it's about six, 5.5 .5 to 6.5. So this is a 5.9, that might be, um, a little bit uh, low, I should say. Some of the testing I saw from other writers was uh, 5.5. Now, they're saying that the Perrier captures the water in France at the source. The water itself is carbonated, but at their processing facility, they separate the carbonation from the water and add it again, and it's called natural carbonation. And the reason they do that is to further filter both parts of it to make sure there's no impurities. Now they're not saying technically they're adding artificial carbonation. I don't really know if that makes a difference. It might, um, but let's crack her open. Now to me, Perrier has the best mouthfeel of the waters I've tested so far. The water flavor is excellent. It's very similar to that other one I tested, the Mountain Spring Water, and I would say this is comparable to that other super premium American water. Um, and I would give this an 8.2, just like that water. Uh, sometimes there's Perrier with lime and jazz in it. I would try to avoid that. It can be good for certain drinkers, but um, certainly I think just the plain Perrier is always gonna be excellent. And this is a, this is a, this is a top contender. 
right here, the Perrier. <clears throat> this bottle was a medium, medium plus on the uh, gas scale. Sometimes I've drank Perrier and it's been very, very gassy, which is nice. <clears throat> Sometimes, again, you want that high gassy level. Always a great choice. Can't go wrong with this. Try to get it in the bottles when you can.